Hello everyone again. Hello everyone again. This is Antonio and I'm coming at you with another exciting video. First of all, I would like to start off by saying this is not financial advice. education and entertainment purposes only. I am not a financial advisor. Now repeat, I'm not a financial advisor. My model of this channel is I see the news and I report the news. Just like many of you, I invest in a lot of the cryptocurrencies and the stocks that I speak about. No, I am not going around acting like I'm an expert, but when it's great articles that's being listed and if it's current events and I see it, I want to report on it because that's the model of my channel. I want to talk about everything money. I talk about everything dealing with business credit, personal credit. I want to talk about stock interest, cryptocurrency interest. Um, I want to bring people on. Soon I will start interviewing uh, close uh, friends of mine, people that, that love to speak about money just like me. So that's the interest of this channel. And that's why I ask people to subscribe to my channel because I'm just not going to be out here reporting on the news every day. There will be definitely, definitely uh, people that I will interview, people that if you have an interest in talking about money, you can message me below and we can definitely do a one-on-one -on -one where we can speak about what you got going on. If you um, if you are into cryptocurrencies and you want to talk about your portfolio and different things like that, we definitely can speak, speak about it. This channel is not about hate. I'm a new channel. I've been doing this for some time, but I have revamped the way that I'm conducting my channel. And I just want to put that disclaimer out first. I may mention that in some of uh, some, uh, my future videos, but I definitely want people, if you want to get on and we want to go live one day and you want to speak about what you got going on, we definitely can do that. So without further ado, let's keep going. This article speaks about should you invest in Cardano? And we're going to talk about should you invest in Cardano? And we're going to talk about the beginnings, the beginnings of, of, of this uh, cryptocurrency and why this cryptocurrency came about. All right. So purported Ethereum killer Cardano is banking on energy efficiency to win over users. All right. So Cardano has been hailed as the potential Ethereum killer. That's quite the claim. After all, Ethereum, the name of the blockchain platform itself, is also often used interchangeably with this native cryptocurrency token, Ether. ETH is the second most valuable cryptocurrency project out there, only trailing Bit uh, Bitcoin. Yet, even as Ethereum seeks to overtake Bitcoin, it has a new arrival coming up to try to take its place. Bitcoin is still entrenched as the biggest crypto uh, crypto assets largely because it is the oldest and most well known of the bunch however ethereum has taken market share in cryptocurrency due to its compelling integrated applications that's an area where bitcoin is lacking cardano seeks to top them both as it offers the best of both worlds, it solves Bitcoin's excessive energy uses problem while also challenging Ethereum's captivating smart contracts. Here's what investors should know. All right, before I even get into that, uh, you want to think about Jack Dorsey, who's also trying to solve Bitcoin's problem of using fossil fuels and different things like that with the Bitcoin mining. He's trying to take Bitcoin green. Also, you got to think about Cardano still got a, a, a tall mountain to climb as uh, as Ethereum came out the gate swinging first. So uh, let's talk about this. What is Cardano? Cardano's mission for greater efficiency, the advantages of Ethereum, and how to invest in Cardano. So I don't want to make this a long, long video. So we might not read all of these paragraphs. I'm going to give you much of the news that I see because, like I say, I don't want to make these videos long. I just want to just tell you about these cryptocurrencies. And that's why when I see these articles, I report on them because if it's an interest to me, it may be an interest to you. Okay. Cardano is a blockchain platform centered around Aureo Boros. Aureo Boros is a pioneer proof stake protocol 
that immediately distinguished Cardano from previously previously invested cryptocurrencies that instead relied on proof of work protocols. This difference is key to Cardano, Cardano's value proposition. Also, for clarity's sake, it is important to note that Cardano is the name of the blockchain platform, while ADA is the name of the native cryptocurrency token. Cardano's ADA token, in return, takes its name from mathematician Otto Loveface. So that's Otto Loveface, if you didn't know that. So that's just where the name comes from. All right, Cardano earns all comparisons to Ethereum. For one thing, Cardano's founder, Charles Hawkinson, was a co-founder of Ethereum. However, he had a falling out with Ethereum's key person, Vitalik Proterium. So Hawkinson wanted to leave Ethereum in a more commercial direction and accept venture capital. Other Ethereum uh, founders wanted to take a less business-centered approach. After leaving Ethereum, Hawkinson decided to improve on Ethereum with his own cryptocurrency project. Hawkinson's invention will keep many of the attractive features of Ethereum but shore up some of his weaknesses. Cardano seeks to offer many of Ethereum's most compelling capabilities such as re, uh, robust smart contracts. Meanwhile, Hawkinson designed Cardano from day one to be energy efficient and support fast transactions with minimum transaction fees. And if a lot of y'all know, Ethereum at the gate is a monster when it comes down to the fees. When you're trying to do uh, like changing Ethereum to other um, to buy other cryptocurrencies, it is very, very expensive. Um, additionally, for the hard money enthusiasts, Cardano has one other big perk. It has a strict cap on 45 billion coins outstanding as a compared to Ethereum, which has, ap has no absolute limit to its total eventual supply. All right, so let's get down here. Cardano's min uh, mission, and this is basically going into the efficiency standpoint, and um, and let's talk about some of the advantages. All right. So Ethereum's remaining advantages, while Cardano has numerous technical benefits, it may still lose out overall. That's because Ethereum has several key advantages, such as according to Sarson Funds co-founder and chief marketing officer Jarel Jamali. All right. Ethereum enjoys a sizable fast mover advantage over Cardano. While Cardano's focus on academia and nonprofits have become its hallmark, the argument can be made that the that lack of private sector engagement has limited the scope of market driven use cap. I mean use cases. This isn't a major decentralized app of significance building on Ada, Jamali said. Several experts pointed to the technical difficulty of programming of Cardano as opposed to Ethereum. Ethereum's simplicity has allowed to gain true mar uh, mass market adaptation. Cardano may uh, possess some te te technological advantages, but Ethereum is the only blockchain that is truly enterprise ready, boasting supporters that include Centra, FedEx, JP Morgan, Chase, and Microsoft, all members of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, Jamali said. So let's dive over here where we're going to talk about a, a, some more aspects of Cardano. So Cardano price prediction, out of eyes, 25% gains despite recent slowdown. All right, so we're just going to read a couple of these and then we're going to talk about the position of Cardano today, and then we're going to talk about uh, where they where they sit as far as um, price predictions. All right, so Cardano shows a bullish structure despite the mayhem caused in late May. ADA set up a higher low on June eighth, followed by a quick upswing, a common theme across crypto market. Lately, this rally has slowed down indicating that exhaustion of bullish momentum. 
ADA might be due for a minor retracement before before the uptrend resumes. All right, Cardano price takes a detour. All right, Cardano uh, price rode the bull wave, rising 16% to $1.63 after a swing low on June 8th. As investors begin to book profits, the rally seems to be coming undone. So far, ADA prices dropped roughly 3% from the previous swing high and might continue until it counters the 50%. All right, a swift return of the bulls at the point seems likely. That said, the outlook for Cardano price may stay bullish up to the 70% retracement level at $1.31. Therefore, a dip in the support levels ranging from $1.50 to $1.31 will likely trigger massive buying pressure, pushing ADA to critical levels at $1.63. One a dollar seventy four and a dollar eighty four. In a highly bullish case, Cardano price may tag the range high at a dollar ninety four, or the lower limit of the supply zone extended uh, from a dollar ninety seven to two dollars and uh, eight cents. All right, so let's talk about uh, let's look at Coin Gecko because on Coin Gecko they talk about the cryptocurrencies with the biggest um, market caps. And let's just talk about these market caps, okay? So Bitcoin is the granddaddy of all cryptocurrencies, and Bitcoin is still sitting at thirty-seven thousand, which is still down about twenty-seven thousand from where it was about a couple of months ago, when it, uh, two, three months ago when it hit that sixty-four thousand. That's when Bitcoin really hit those numbers. Also, when you look at Ethereum. Uh, the Ethereum price is two thousand five hundred and sixty-five. That still is down because Ethereum hit over four thousand. You have Tether, which is number three, Binance Coin number four, and Cardano. Even though it started out the gate after a lot of these cryptocurrencies, it still have a fifty billion dollar market cap. So let's not get it twisted about Bitcoin, where people say, "Oh, these coins are going to overtake Bitcoin." Even though Bitcoin got some tweaks, but I reported that El Salvador is thinking about using uh, Bitcoin as a legal tender. So now you got a country in El Salvador that's thinking about using uh, Bitcoin as their legal tender. There will be some other countries that will follow suit. And because Bitcoin is the strongest, these other coins is going to have to fall in line. All right. So remember, at one point, Dogecoin did overtake Cardano. But Dogecoin is number six, XRP is number seven, Polkadot number eight, and the USD coin number nine, and number ten is Uniswap. So if you never heard of these coins, one day I'm gonna do a video talking about the top coins, and we're gonna talk about um, why that's important. But let's jump over to Cardano's price prediction. All right, now currently. Cardano is a dollar fifty-six. They're saying by mid-year Cardano is going to hit a dollar seventy-one. By year end, a dollar eighty-one. All right, so it'll double uh, probably in about three years. They're saying it may you know double. It's going to take three years for that. But by next year, it's supposed to be uh, at the mid-year is two thirty-five. Year end is two eighty-eight. So basically, the reason why I made this video is because. Like I just said before, Cardano is still number five. And I'm very bullish on this cryptocurrency, just like many of you. I hold uh, shares of, uh, in a lot of these cryptocurrencies. So I want to report about it. I want to talk about the good of these cryptocurrencies as, the, as well as the bad of the cryptocurrencies. So I just want to make this video and by saying how to play this. This will be a long-term investment. If you are not ready for 80% swings high and 80% swings low, then invest in index funds because this cryptocurrency may take you on a roller coaster ride because it's graining its footing. It's trying to do its very best in the cryptocurrency world to overtake Ethereum. But like we see in CoinGecko, they got a long way to go. 
because Ethereum has a market cap of almost $300 billion, while Cardano have a market cap at $50 billion. So they're go they got a little ways to go to overtake them, but um, you, you definitely could double your money, but you're going to have to be in this stock for, I mean, not this stock, this cryptocurrency for a while. So without further ado, this is Antonio with Team Tigio. Uh, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe to this channel. My motto is I'm not a tax expert, a financial expert, or even a stock expert. My motto is I see the news, I report the news, because that's what we have to do. We have to take our money out of banking uh, the traditional banking ways, and sometimes get riskier with it, and put your money where you see eighty percent upswings. When be the cryptocurrency world, and you when you see them eighty percent swings, take a little portion out. Then you could take that money and invest it in something else, or if you could take a little portion and put it in the bank. But that traditional way of banking, countries no longer want to do it. Think about a country like El Salvador; they. 70% of the people don't even have bank accounts, period. So, with that being said, people are getting more bullish in the in the cryptocurrency world. That's what they're doing. They're taking their money and they're putting it over here. And that's why people like the Biden administration are trying to, um, they're trying to penalize people who want to do the right things with their money. So, I'll be making a video about that soon, how a lot of these uh politicians will they're going to start trying to dip their toe and and tax a lot of the uh the cryptocurrency soon so that video will be coming soon so 